Hello everyone, it's me DioGenZ here with another episode of Bitrip Runner 2, future legend of Rhythm Alien. And today we're gonna go a bit out of sequence. The reason for that is because originally, as I was recording this, I didn't know if you would all care for each character's unlocking. But since you all commented you want to see the most of the game besides just the starting line, I figured... I wish I could stop messing up. I figured... As I was saying, I figured... I hate dancing and I love it at the same time. See, look. All I have to do is stop dancing, but guess what? I can't stop. I want those extra points. Yeah, so... As I was saying, y'all commented you want to see the most of the game as you can. And since I'm not 100%ing it, not doing all the levels, not doing all the coin grabs, actually it's piles of gold grabs. And oh wow, I don't know why I just noticed this, but the piles of gold are back to the classic runner gold. I just noticed that, wow. And we've already been through an entire uh, segment of levels in the bit trip. Now I know, you may think after all those... Go stop, go stop, go stop to the beginning. I shouldn't be getting challenges. But, I'm gonna try it anyway. You know why? Because it makes things interesting. And since we're seeing classic runner gold, it made me feel like being classic runner mode. So yeah, I'm going for it again. Don't mess with me. I will do a challenge if I want to do a challenge. Besides, I want to see if I can get extra points. It's really kind of pointless when I think about it because you probably get more points for collecting all the gold than you do for winning a bonus challenge. I don't think you can one-up somebody who's got all the gold and has ran through the checkpoints. But nonetheless, it gives me something interesting to beat in the next mode. So this episode is all about unlocking the character you can collect on this world. So I guess that makes five unlockable characters that you can get. And then somehow, some way, and here's how I'm guessing it happens, you probably have to beat all the retro challenge rectangles that we've seen throughout the levels. And then we can get Commander Video Original Bit Trip Runner Mode. And I don't know if you get the mode or just the costume, because if you look while you're on the overworld screen to select a level, it says, at least on the keyboard mode, press K to go retro. And uh, it's not an option available to me, so I'm guessing that I'm going to have to go back, traverse all these past levels, and find where those rectangles are hiding out so I can get the retro runner mode. Now that would be interesting. If I do end up finding that, maybe I'll have to record a uh, couple of videos. And you know what, sometimes... Sometimes, I don't quite agree with what the arrows suggest. I find this, just jumping a bunch, a lot easier than having to jump and duck in a narrow corridor with spikes hanging over me and bongo drum looking enemies that you want to step on them but you just can't blocking the way. I, I don't want to do that. Sometimes the arrow doesn't know what it's talking about. Yeah, and I bet y'all thought I was going to go for another challenge mode. Well, not on these stairs. It's just, you know, there's so many of them. Bah! Things like that could happen, and I don't feel like starting from the very beginning. These stairs aren't difficult, as I said before. I actually prefer going up instead of down on the arrow pointed out path, but you have to get the rhythm of the jump. And once you do that, it's a piece of cake. Cannon time! I love this version of the cannon, and the bullseye board, too. It's so blockful. It's like Legos. But not like a bullseye. Oh, we got an achievement, too. Awesome. What does that say, running shady? I missed that. How am I a shady runner? I don't know. Haven't been running with an umbrella. Not sure how they say I'm shady. Okay, we cannot... But we don't actually want to go that way. I look at it and now I realize there's no extra levels down there. There's no alternate branching paths, so the new character can't be down there. 
He's in one of these remaining levels. I doubt that they'd place him in the key zone. Uh, but that'd be a twist. That'd be a twist. You get to unlock all the keys, and you get an unlockable character. That would be, be really nice if I could jump and kick at the same time and just run. All I want to do is run. Oh, and jump too, because these things are difficult. You know, they always psych me out when they're moving too, when they come in from above, because sometimes I misjudge them and think, ah, I got plenty of time. I can, I can do another jump. Nope. You do another jump right into their block spikes. Which I guess if you're going to be hit by any of the enemies, you'd want to be hit by these textured reskins. This can't hurt as much running into pixels compared to running into spikes. If I had a guess. But then again, at the force of our exquisite running that we're ramping up here, we might have the same kind of trauma. Same kind of blunt force head damage by just running into something. Ah, damn, I wish we took that W pad. We would have gotten an extra costume. That one was kind of easy to get. Uh, well, that's the beauty of a non-100% run. Leaves me goodies to get after the recording is over. I mean, this is really a, a blind go at the trip runner, too. Oops, sorry about that. Go back into the level, got a notification on my desktop. But yeah, this is a... I've never played this game, so what you're seeing is is what you're getting. That's why I'm always, you know, guaranteed to get at least one death, if not thousands others on the levels. But so far, I'm happy to say I have not had to change the difficulty. Looking at that little sign that says, hey, change it if it's too hard or too easy. I've not had to change a thing. Ow. Okay, that, that was that was lag. I contribute that to lag. Here's a word for the wise if you are an LPer just like me. Don't record games while rendering. Rendering takes out a lot more of your system's powers and resources than you could suppose. And uh, it makes gameplay chug. I, I really see a frame rate drop in this runner level. Uh, which makes me hope I can still continue to run through it successfully. Because that was the difficulties I had on the retro challenges. For whatever reason, you'd think the retro challenges should load quicker, but uh, again, it was probably because I was rendering or something, but like I am now, it slows down. And that precise timing is exactly what you need to beat this game. It's not held up to chance or happenstance that you will just magically win this game you've got to try try and try again and again I got it I got it this time oh crap this is the wrong rail we want to go for the alternate ending yes oh well that was plenty of death sequences there to prove that uh, this is just my first run and I still... Whoa! Almost got hit by an asteroid. Don't know what's going on. Yeah! <laughs> I had victory. And I guess thanks to editing, I still have it. But I had victory. <laughs> it was right in front of me. Right in front! Alright. Well, we got what counts here. We passed the alternate ending. So now we can do this branch off point here. And this might just be where that extra character is. If it is, we'll call it quits after this episode, because then all of my roster is full. It is! Sweet Iflus. Interesting name. Now I guess that's the name of the level, but it would be even stranger if that was the name of the character one we are unlocking. Eh, we've had Stranger. I mean, don't forget, we've been running as a pickle for a good percentage of this game, and also as a burger person. A reverse fish person. Uh, yeah, there's uh, all kinds of modes of running. Forms of bipedalism you didn't even know existed, because they don't. But they do in this wacky dimension. 
And I guess this is a, a bittersweet level, you know, it's, it's really one of the most awesome levels in my opinion as far as design goes, but it means that the game is almost over. Test sad. I think we've got one more episode to go. And I'm thinking that's the guy dancing there at the checkpoint that we're going to be unlocking. So we've got one more episode to go of the main levels of this world, and then it's over! Oh, too sad. I don't know, the length thing of the game, it, it seems good to me. It seems like I beat it semi-quickly, but then again I was in a rush to record. And, um, you know, that always speeds up your game time. Plus, this has harder modes, so it's not like I've even beaten the game completely. I just went through the main mode pretty swiftly. Sweet! Wow, so that guy is, uh, he's more than just one of Commander Video's friends. He's, he's the captain. Well, we found the captain. If anybody knows what I'm hinting towards, <laughs> that LP. And, uh, that'll do it for this episode of Finding the Last Character of Bit Trip Runner. See you next time.